Pet of the Week, brought to you by Heritage Animal Hospital. It's always a treat when Myra's here. Not only because we get to see your beautiful face, <laughs> but you always bring a great friend. In fact, I'm in love with this friend. Her energy is so fabulous, and her story is wonderful. Myra, who in the world do we have here today? <laughs> this is Emma Jean. Uh, she's about a year and a half old, just a little mixed breed. Um, but when she came in, she was actually injured. Mm. Um, her paw, basically half of it had been cut off by something. Um, so when we took her to the vet, they said that what bones were left were basically disintegrating. Oh my gosh. Um, so they said that the only way that they could really help her recover would be to amputate it. So she had to have her leg amputated all the way up to the shoulder. Oh my goodness. And even though she, she may have lost her, her leg, her spirit is just vibracious. Like, I mean, she hasn't met a stranger yet. Like, no, you know. she is so friendly. <laughs> She's outgoing and she doesn't let it slow her down at all. She'll still get out there and run and play and she can jump up. Like on the way here this morning, she jumped right up in the van. Um, so you wouldn't even notice that she's got three legs until she stops moving. Oh my goodness. And is, what type of environment do you see her in? Um, she would be great with any people, young, old, either of those. She just doesn't do the greatest with other dogs. Yeah. Um, we've tried to introduce her to a few, but it's going to be tricky to meet a dog that she can play with and match energy levels with only having the three legs. Which is why you always come on here and you say that there is a perfect, you guys have a wonderful place for a meet and greet. So if you do have animals at home, you know, schedule a little time so yeah. that your pets that you already have and maybe I'm a G. Yeah, if you've you know, got one that's out. a little more laid back, she may get used to them not yeah. playing as rough. So yeah. if you have one, um, you can always bring them in, meet and greet, see, maybe they'll get along. I mean, she's very curious right now, as you can see. But before we, we wrap up, I, I want to talk about this last weekend because you guys had an amazing event. It was beautiful weather. It was. At yeah. PetSmart, was it? Yes. Up, up at PetSmart, we had our national adoption event. Lots yes. of other shelters were there, too. Um, and I think everybody had a great weekend, and we had almost 20 adoptions. Oh, my goodness. Now, we're getting into the spring months, which means bring on the puppies and the kittens. And I know you see things day in and day out because you work with the Humane Society. And is there anything that you wish that you can... Oh, my gosh, we're looking at footage right now from PetSmart. Are you <laughs> serious? Oh, my good. Look at that that's smile. That's Cupcake. Cupcake's still at the shelter. She did not get adopted over the weekend. But that's what I love because that picture actually came from from your website, which is something cool that you guys do. I like to call your website like a dating website, you know, for your animal. Anytime you need any information about an animal that you might see here on the show, you guys are always posting it on your Facebook and your website. So that's pretty cool. Before we wrap up, is there any advice you want to give to our viewers at home about things that, you know, you wish that people knew before they walked in? Yeah. There's, um, there's lots of options out there if you have pets at home that aren't fixed, um, especially getting into the spring mm -hmm. spring season. There are lots of low-cost options out there to get them fixed, and then just be cautious when they're outside because um, there's so many accidental litters yeah. that happen. So just watch them if you have pets at home that aren't fixed yet. See, it's all we always learn something here with Myra. So Myra, where can folks find you? We are at 2425 North Section Street, right off of the exit in Sullivan, so we're easy to find. And of course, hours of operation are there on the uh, screen, phone number. You just saw their beautiful, active Facebook. And once again, I mentioned their website. It's If you need any information, just give them a call or check out online. Oh my goodness, I told you guys, you guys are always great with the website, but this time, Emma Jean needs a home, right? Yes, she does. She needs a home. Emma Jean, it's your time to shine now. Oh my goodness, look at that face just hanging out.